Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Recently, I've been buying a lot of slimes online from places like Wish and Amazon and I thought it would be really fun to do like a comparison. So this is going to be Wish slime versus Amazon slime. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. Before we get started, I want to give out a huge shout out to this week's notification squad. Thank you guys so much for your comments. And if you aren't part of the notification squad, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below to be featured in my next video. And now without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay guys, so first I'm going to show you the slimes that I bought from Wish. And the first slime I have here is a pink clear slime that has some glitter and some pearl beads. So I'm taking the slime out of the container and this container, by the way, is super cute. I love the shape of it. Um, so yeah, I took the slime out of the container and it was kind of rubbery. So this doesn't really feel like a homemade slime um, because it has a rubbery feeling to it. But the thing I liked about this slime were the pearl beads and the glitter. Um, this was like a super cute slime and I loved the look of it. And oh, this slime also had this like random piece of plastic inside. I don't know what happened here, but other than that, I do think this slime was really nice for $1. The next slime we have here is a clear slime with some fruit slices. Now it says magic clay on the packaging. I'm not really sure why. It's kind of random. Uh, but yeah, this one is pretty similar to the previous slime that I was showing you. This one is just clear and has fruit slices. The thing I noticed about these clear slimes is that they are stretchy. But when you keep like stretching them, they do start to get kind of tough. But I mean for a dollar, I do think these slimes are pretty nice. Of course, they aren't like as good as homemade slime. For the third slime, we have a pink clear slime that's in this emoji container. As I was taking the slime out of the container, it just started to break apart. This slime was complete garbage. Like, I wasted a dollar on this slime basically. Which isn't like a lot, but I mean, you are paying a dollar after all, so you should get something that is like at least decent quality. This slime was not stretchy at all, it kept breaking apart, and I also couldn't like poke it, so yeah, you can see for yourself. For the fourth and final wish slime, I have this purple slime. Now it said in the description that it was a fluffy slime, but when I started playing with it, I feel like it's more of a clay slime. So it was super soft, stretchy, and very spreadable. I did really like this slime and for a dollar, it was pretty good. And yeah, all in all, I would recommend this one.
So those were the $1 wish slimes. Now I'm going to show you the $1 slimes that I got from Amazon. This first one came in a super adorable turtle container. I was in love with this container. I loved the packaging. And now for the slime. This slime was very similar to the first wish slime I showed you guys. It had like the same pearl beads and the glitter. The only thing different here is the color and the quantity of slime. Of course, because the slime came like in a cute container, I guess that's why you get less slime. Um, so it was kind of hard to play with this one. But because it came in a cute turtle container, I would totally recommend it. The second slime that I got from Amazon is a purple clay slime. As you can see, the slime and the clay have separated, um, so I'm guessing that the slime is pretty old. Now I opened the container and I started playing with the slime. It was very sticky in the beginning, but as I kept like playing with it and when the slime and clay both kind of like mixed together, this slime was perfection. It almost felt like a homemade slime. Like it was that good and I was so so impressed with this one because it was just for a dollar and like the texture was on point. This next slime is actually the same as the previous slime. It's just in blue. Um, and again, the texture was perfection. It felt like a homemade slime. And yeah, I honestly would 10 on 10 recommend these slimes because they are such a good deal for just a dollar. For the fourth and final Amazon slime, I have a clear orange slime with some like flower slices inside. Um, this slime was kind of melted when it came in the mail, so I had to reactivate it and it was completely fine after that. This slime was very, very soft, stretchy, and the texture was very nice. I was actually kind of surprised because I felt like it was going to be um, kind of like plasticky and tough like the other clear slimes, but this one was actually very good. After playing with slimes from Wish and from Amazon, I definitely think that Amazon is the winner. The turtle slime was very nice, the packaging was adorable, both of the butter slimes were perfection, 
This final orange slime was melted, but after I reactivated it, it was perfect as well. So for me, Amazon was the winner, but let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.